We're going to do a brief video on PIN Duo Duo, PIN Duo Duo stock analysis. We've got a daily chart on here for you, and we've got a green 5-day moving average, a red 20-day moving average, and a blue 200-day moving average. Let's take a look back here real quick. We can see that the stock has been in the bear market, and it started in June of uh, 2021. We had a fairly straightforward bear market, but you'll notice that we had a lot of sideways movement. We had sideways movements uh, from from about the third week of August 21 all the way across till November of 21. We had another sharp downtrend, then sideways movement from December all the way through uh, third week in February, another downward trend. So we had a lot of sideways movement, and that's what we got here from March 15th all the way until about May 26th. Around May 26th, we got this challenge of the 200-day moving average. You can see it respected the 20-day Took it right up to the 200-day moving average, closed above it a bunch of times, but didn't get anywhere, and fell back below. So we were in a bear market all the way through here, technically all the way through the beginning of June, and then we're now we're in something different. Um, you can see we fell below the 200-day, and we're back up above it today. So officially, we've started a new bull market on this. Now it remains to be seen how strong this is going to be, but at the moment we're out of the bear market, closed above and rallied. Uh, above the 200-day moving average, you've got some little gaps here, uh, respecting the 20-day, which is above the 200, and respecting until today, respecting the 5-day uh, moving average. So this stock, from a technical perspective, is out of a bear market and looks pretty good. Now today, we're down. I'm looking at a different set of numbers, but we're down uh, five bucks today on volume of 11 million shares. Normal volume is about 13 million shares. And so we're down quite a bit today on this stock, but that's not, that's no big deal. It's gone up quite a bit in the last two weeks and you can expect to get some kind of a, a little sell off here. What we need to see is this stock come back down to around here at 61 ish. It's uh, low today is about 66 and get some support at about 61 off the 20 day moving average. If we see that or for maybe even down into the high 50s, if we see that we get some support and then we get another rally, then this stock's probably firmly in a uh, another, um, it's got a good foundation for another uh, uh, run in a bull market. So we'll have to see what happens. But my analysis for today for entertainment purposes only, in my opinion, is probably a decline here in the next week or week and a half down to the low 60s area, and then we have to see if it holds support above a moving average. It's gonna be around that point at that time. So that's what I see right now. The stocks move from a bear to a bull market, and we're looking for a brief decline here before we see what goes on in terms of a continuation of a, a uh, bull market. Let's go down and take a look and see what RBAM Research says about it. We cover this stock. Looks like there's no entry prices at all today, which basically means uh, they're agreeing with my um, my uh, technical analysis, which is they're saying, hey, stay away from this stock today, don't buy it. But again, this is all for entertainment purposes, only you have to use your own judgment. Um, that does not mean anything bad about the stock, it just means short term they're thinking it's probably going to go a little lower, just like I am. So that's where we are with these. These are one, five, and 20 day hold periods where these come out before 7 a.m. Monday through Friday from rbamresearch.com. You can get them all absolutely free. The way it works is if you buy in the one day hold column, you buy today, close out worst case, end of the trading day tomorrow, just before it closes at a loss or take your profits sooner. And it's the same way for the five and the 20 day. These are worst case holding periods. You close out at a loss at the end of them or you take your profits as soon as you get them if you can. So that's how these work. We cover 190 stocks including the one we're following here today. And they're all available free at rbamresearch.com, no credit card required. 190 stocks, the major Forex pairs, crypto, and we cover the most liquid futures contracts. They're all out by 7 a.m. Monday through Friday. There's a link in the description below for rbamresearch.com. You just go there, sign up, and get them absolutely free with no credit card required. If you like this video, please click the like button. If you want to subscribe, please do that. If you have a great comment on how we can make these videos better, we'd love to hear it in the comment section below. And keep in mind, everything you've seen or heard here, including our entry prices, are for entertainment purposes only. It's all our own opinion. You have to use your own analysis, and you definitely trade at your own risk.